Hello guys, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, welcome to another session of IBC Continuous Education Program. So uh, today, um, as you must be knowing, it's a doubt clearing session for us. So uh, we've had uh, some very uh, informative sessions in the past few weeks. And um, today uh, we have uh, Deepak with us. You're familiar with Deepak. So uh, all the doubts that you may have had uh, post uh, the CEP session, maybe you were implementing something. Uh, Whatever be the reason, uh, we are here to clear your doubts today, and uh, that's mainly it. So, uh, thanks for being a part. So, for today's session, in fact, uh, since it's a doubt clearing session, we'll keep it a little bit more interactive. Uh, so, what I'll be doing is uh, you can just uh, send a message on the chat box if you uh, want to be unmuted and you would like to directly uh, uh, talk with Deepak. I will uh, let you uh, speak for that moment. So, uh, I think Deepak, uh, we can start. Yeah, yeah. Hi, good evening, all. Let first, if you have any doubt, we can continue with that. If you have any doubt uh, on uh, related substrate, like, uh, have you uh, implemented the custom palette? And if you have a doubt on on that, you can ask. Uh, guys, there's an option to raise your hand. Maybe you could do that, and uh, uh, you know we could unmute you for that time being. How? Uh, there is a question, sir. The first request is please provide the code. How will we practice? Uh, the code. Uh, the question is gone. It's under answered. You can still check. So the question is, sir, uh, the first practice request is please. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. It. Uh, what code uh, are you talking about? Like we have just implemented the uh, custom palette. So are you requesting for uh, that code? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll share. I'll share in the uh, Discord. Uh, Puneet, I've uh, enabled you to uh, use your mic. So if you if you want to, you can just have a, a quick conversation. Okay, look, look, looks like we are good. Okay. Uh, if you want uh, to revise the custom palette, you can ask. I'll do that. Otherwise. Uh, Today I got to know that uh, the struct uh, session was uh, skipped. So we can quickly look into it. Can we do it? Okay, then we can do it very quickly. So my screen is visible? Uh, yes, Deepak, you can see. Yeah, uh, guys, uh, I think you have already studied about the stack. Uh, in different languages, uh, we'll just uh, see the syntax how we are using in the uh, substrate. Uh, sorry, in Rust. Uh, for the syntax uh, to define it, we just use the struct and we'll uh, name the struct, and we can uh, type the parameters or members. Uh, this is the format for uh, defining the struct. We can. Practice here. So main function. This is nothing. Again. And there's just a warning, and it is compiling. We can do it by uh, first. Okay. 
equals and then match name. You can define it by this. So definition is pretty easy. For uh, initialization, uh, we are uh, initializing by uh, this. You can initialize by the simplicity. You just remove this and copy this. The code is running perfectly fine. What we are doing here is we are calling the struct here and we are uh, initializing into the user one. We are initializing the parameters like uh, the email is a string and we are putting email like this. Also, we are uh, putting the parameters according to the uh, data types that we have already defined above. Again, yeah, we can do it by this also. Here, what we are doing is we are uh, changing the email by this email. And how we are doing that is we are putting the mute variable. If we are removing this, the code is should uh, given the error yeah okay if we put the mute uh, make the user one as mutable then we can uh, change the uh, email we can do it by uh, do it for like active parameter I think you are uh, very much aware about the mute. This is uh, if we need to uh, change the variable in future, we just make it a variable as mute. Okay. Now going forward, yeah. We are having the struct, struct and also we are having the uh, function. In function, we have uh, two arguments, email and username. We can use this argument to initialize the member of uh, structures like here. We put the email, this email here and the username. And uh, manually we uh, type the active and sign in count. We can do it by this also. Okay, we can run it. The code is working perfectly fine. Yeah. Another thing is that, like to uh, reduce the code, we can also put it like this just remove this and this will automatically assume that uh, we are putting the email uh, we are initializing the email here and we are initializing the username but the uh, name is uh, same we can try to run it yeah this code is also running perfectly fine Okay, what is here? So this is our uh, structure. We are initializing it as we have already seen this type and we are also initializing again this user. And we are using the user one 
here you can see we can also do it like we are using the active from user one into the user two you can put it by this user one dot active for accessing the members of a structure we are using the dot user one dot active uh, uh, that's the way to refer the active and user one dot username we are referring to this we can also do it by this okay yeah this is the uh, this is our structure and here we are defining the user one but in user two what we are doing is we are uh, manually changing the email uh, we are initializing the email but we want to, all the parameters should be same as the user one so we are putting the two dot and the user one this will initialize the same value from the user one to the user two you can do it yeah so like this is the example where we are using the structure you can see here we are this is the code for finding the area here we are using the function to find the area now we can refactor it with uh, refactor it with tuple for tupling we are using a dot like here we are in uh, there is a two argument this is a tuple this is one tuple and we are accessing by the dimension dot zero dot zero means uh, we are referring to the 30 and dot one means we are referring to the 50. so this uh, function will return the uh, area of the rectangle now we can do it by uh, refactoring with uh, stuck. Let's copy this. We are defining the struct for rectangle, like uh, height or width. For in main function, we are initializing it. Now we are uh, calling the area uh, function and we are passing the rectangle struct here and we are fetching the width and height just like this rectangle dot width that means we are referring to the 30 and referring uh, rectangle dot height that means we are referring to the 50. Let's compile this. So we are getting the output. Okay, this is uh, all about the for the structure. This is a very basic, nothing to uh, nothing advanced in here. If you have till now any doubt in substrate or okay then we uh, i'll show you some tips give you some tips to uh, <clears throat> actually find the solution if you are facing any technical uh, problem or any problem in the coding so you can go let me This is the website. You can go here. This is a particularly for substrate developer. You can ask any doubt related to substrate here.
I am pasting this link. Put this in chat. I have already Q and A. Can't do it. Okay, I'll just put in this and the rope. Please uh, make it visible to all. Uh, yes, it, it is it. Also, one more uh, website you can refer to, which is Stack Overflow. You have already know about this. For quick answer, you can refer this. I paste this link also here. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get the. If you want to learn substrate in depth, where can you refer? You can refer this link. And you can start. Uh, my screen is visible, no? Yes, yes, it's visible. You can start it by here get started this uh quick start is also i have already uh taught to you how we can uh, configure our system according to the substrate but then you can go through this for the uh, basic knowledge of blockchain and how why substrate and what is the architecture what is the consensus I already uh, taught this in the session in rushed for substrate <clears throat> and these are the installation process for uh, windows if anyone have a window system then the installation for the window is pretty much different if you have a uh, setup for the window you uh, have already faced the problem and if you haven't do that, do it. And if you face any problem, you can ask on uh, Discord. Okay, now the uh, next session is build. You can uh, refer this for building purpose. Now the uh, very important uh, thing is work with palette. Here is some palette, add a palette to the runtime configure the contract palette and these are the some palettes you can refer this publish custom palette you can go ahead and check this out okay <clears throat> after um, I have uh, told you that we are working on a solo chain. Uh, like uh, if we want to develop a product for a uh, for any organization, then we need to uh, build a parachain for that. So how relay chain and parachain is connecting? How do we do that? For that, you can refer this. Okay, there you can also find uh, how to change the solo change to the para chain. Okay, you can develop a smart contract. For that, you can refer uh, this develop smart contract. Okay, if you want more depth knowledge of Polkadot, you can refer this. Learn. 
this is the best uh, way to uh, get knowledge in depth uh, regarding polkadot you can learn basic things like how to add the account all the things is mentioned here and we have i have already shown you the polkadot For writing smart contract on purchasing digital asset. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Purchasing, buying, selling, you can do that. You can make a smart contract for it. Logic for it, uh, we need to develop it. I haven't uh, deployed this uh, smart contract. Yeah, <clears throat> this is the uh, relay chain or main chain of Polkadot. You can, you are seeing different thing here. What is democracy? Like, uh, there's no logic I mean by your own that you can write. Yeah, I have already shown you uh, the building of smart contract. By that way, you can uh, build that smart contract and you can put um, your logic there. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can uh, see this. What is a democracy here? Like, uh, if you heard about the hard folk and uh, soft folk and hard folk, like the chain is divided into the uh, one chain is divided into the two chain in the hard folk. And if we want any change in the polka dot, then we can uh, submit a pre-image for it like we want uh, like we want to increase the timing and there is a conflict that uh, if we want to increase the timing of the block production from six to seven seconds then there will be a benefit for it we can do it we can submit our pre-image and then it goes to the proposal and there is a time for uh, being, uh, there is a specific time your pre-image is uh, there in the proposal. If like, uh, let's say I have also same problem, like I also wanted to uh, change the time from six seconds to seven seconds, then we I can endure this by some funds. So after this proposal, the this proposal is uh, will go to the referenda. In referenda, there is also a specific time. This will uh, remain in referenda for a specific time. Like this pre-image will uh, get reduced by here by the sixteen days. And if it is selected, like anyone can vote on this like i want to support this i 
and if i need to deny this we can uh, deny this okay okay what else these are the para chains you can refer what para chain are doing what things also you heard about the kusama this is the test chain of polka dot for deploying our chains to the polka dot we first need to test on the kusama kusama is just similar to the polka dot it is for experimental purpose in layman okay for developing i have already uh, told you for local node you can just select this and you can switch it okay what else i can what else like uh, i can show you how to ask the question you can type the title and you can paste the code here and you can first review and post can okay, i can show you my questions which i have already asked you can see this you can uh, and you can ask anything related to substrate it is uh, this website is specifically for substrate uh, based questions you can see this i have noted down that i need to uh, send the code into the uh, discord yeah i'll do that dhruv yes keep it uh, i'm enable the uh, chat for everyone on your end also for uh, just one second okay okay Chinese. Sure. As you can refer these links. Also, uh, one link is there. in next session we will discuss on uh, the fala hack infinity i have pasted paste the link in the chat box you can uh, refer this like the room okay so um, are we good here any anything left to cover no no i have covered okay so uh, guys before we wind up we'll give it another minute uh, anyone has any other questions apart from this please uh, don't hesitate Uh, 
Okay, so looks like there are no more questions. All right, so uh, looks like uh, we're done for the. Thank you so much, Deepak, uh, for taking this doubt doubt clearing session. So uh, we did uh, cover on a few things uh, we might have missed out on before as well. So uh, thank you everyone else for being a part of this. And uh, we will regroup uh, later if uh, required, I think on 3rd Jan, right? We'll be doing on... If at all, there's a extra session required. So uh, guys, make sure you are uh, keeping a watch on our Discord channel for any updates regarding the continuous education program. Um, we'll be getting all the information on our Discord channel. So uh, that's it for the day. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you all.